Hey everybody, welcome. Um, I'm gonna do a walkthrough tour of the Halcyon 2 model, which is really exciting for me because it's uh, the first walkthrough tour of this model for Fritz Downey Homes. If you've seen the Halcyon 1 tour, you'll recognize a lot of what you see in here. Uh, the Halcyon 1 is our one bedroom model, but what we've done here is we've added a second bedroom or a second room to the back end of the Halcyon, calling it the Halcyon 2. And so by doing this, we just wanted to really expand the use of this model to make it just more flexible, whether that back room is a bedroom, as you'll see it here shortly, or whether it's an office or a music studio or just storage, whatever. We want to have that flexibility to just add a little bit more life to this house. So a lot of what you've seen, if you've seen a house in one tour, will be the same, but some of the stuff will be different. So why don't we start with the different stuff? In this case, we have a queen size bed here. We have a really beautiful headboard and kind of actually really similar to what's happening up in the loft. We got a full wardrobe. We have a really cool mirrored um, door. It's double-sided mirrors uh, as a way when we close this up for privacy. We also just reflect back on this uh, beautiful view. Um, yeah, it's really high ceilings and really this room can get used for anything. And in this case, it's a really beautiful bedroom with uh, really killer views. So in the bedroom version of this, we have a really nice wardrobe. We have room for hanging. We have really deep drawers. Um, everything soft closed as usual. And uh, actually there's a ton of storage underneath this bed right here. So it lifts up on hydraulics and there's a ton of storage there, quite deep as well. A few of the other subtle changes um, from the housing one to the housing two, um, that wardrobe that we looked at right here is now uh, what used to be the toilet. The toilet is now moved over here. We have pushed the full size shower tub a little bit into the bedroom. So we still have the full size tub in here, beautiful glass doors. We have one of our two ERV units here, which is for the air ventilation. The other one is in the back room. Um, they work in concert with each other to make sure that we have constant fresh air being cycled into the house. We have the same vanity here that we would have on the house in one, the really deep medicine cabinet, the full uh, storage drawers underneath. We have our, our custom concrete wedge shaped sink with our plumbing inside of this wall, which allows us to not have to fight with a P-trap or any plumbing underneath, which gives us full storage underneath the sink. On the other side of the bathroom hall, we have a whole bunch of stuff stored underneath our stairs here. So we have our commie boiler, our combination boiler. That's our full utility closet. Tons of room for extra storage in there as well. And we have our washer dryer combo with room for storage underneath as well. So that's all tucked in, just hidden away in a way that makes it clean and really invisible. So the Halcyon 2 kitchen is identical to the Halcyon 1. So we still have our beautiful custom concrete countertops, our full size fridge, we have our nice pantry built in over here. We try to get storage everywhere we can. We have a little drawer even tucked in underneath the bottom uh, step of the stairs. And yeah, so we have our, our, our gas range, our overhead microwave uh, hood vent, and just, yeah, really a, a nice full-size functioning kitchen. Opposite our kitchen, we have what we call the hutch. So full of storage, but one kind of neat piece of storage is what we call the front hall closet. So this opens up, pulls up, we have room for our Walton keys in here cell phones, jackets, shoes, and it tucks away nicely and simply. This is a way to uh, put away all that outdoor gear. In our eating area, living room area here, front entryway, we got a lot going on in here. So right now we have it staged up with a coffee table, which is really neat. Um, but over here we have, we have integrated lighting for our eating or workstation here. We have really neat, kind of lots of storage. This is kind of a neat double drawer scenario to get us over the, the cantilevered countertop. Um, under our couch, this is the first time we've done a trundle bed. So we've designed a custom trundle bed. So this drawer pulls out, there's a mattress there. They really wanted this Article Sven couch, but they still wanted that extra sleeping area. So we've, we've designed a trundle bed under that. Um, and we've put a little, uh, just a beautiful little fireplace in here. It's just an electric fireplace, simple, clean, just a way to bring uh, that feel into the home. So some of the technical details. Hydronic in-floor heating with our IBC Combi Boy. We do that with all of our homes. It's the most efficient, comfortable way to heat a home. We have integrated dimmable LED lighting all over the home, hardwood flooring, custom concrete countertops. Um, yeah, it's just really beautiful, high-end fit and finish. And uh, yeah, we're really proud of the way it all kind of came together inside here. We love tiny home lofts, just the way they feel. They're kind of a fun, unique part of the home but we do not want to crawl into them. We want to have full uh, headroom to be able to walk up a comfortable, safe set of stairs, have full headroom, uh, be able to stand beside a bed, be able to get dressed. We have lots of clothes storage um, here. We have a uh, hanging room and lots of deep drawers. We also have windows on either side um, that are both operable, allows for cross breezes to blow through. The view off the foot of the bed, through all the timbers, through the big nose window is really beautiful. Our headboard is useful as well. We have our kind of bedside 
storage, we have USB ports put in here, we have uh, LED backlighting, it's just kind of everything you need here, plus lots of headroom and bed, so that's a usable space. So guys, on the outside, the Halsey 2 is 37 feet long by 8 foot 6 wide, has an RV designation. Uh, it's full metal siding on the exterior, even this wood print is a metal siding. We use fiberglass windows as always because we believe they're the best for what we're trying to do here. And uh, yeah, and lots of those windows. So giant windows, operable windows to allow cross breeze through the home and really efficient building envelope um, with a lot of great building science that goes into it, making this just a really long lasting, uh, beautiful home.